what's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Motorsport 7 for a new car that was given to us for free that Porsche GT4 Club Sport so today we're gonna rip this thing on the track and also try and see if it will drift we're gonna go from grip to drift and see if we can't get this thing sideways in the uh, trailer for it it was getting a little sideways so we're gonna see if we can't purposely get this thing sideways and purposely drift it but of course before we do that we're going to have to drive it how it sits because what fun would it be if we just started drifting it if we didn't know how it drove normally because who knows it could drift out of the box normally without having to uh, do any big changes so I think we're gonna go to Dubai because I feel like that's a very good uh, test track for it and we'll do test drive in Dubai during the day full circuit and we're gonna go straight into it like I said, we're going to try and get this thing sideways with our handbrake and everything like that. But we're going to grip it first because it is a new car for us. So I wanted to uh, see how this thing goes both ways before uh, we determine if it's a no-go for drifting. Did not do this prior, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. So it's going to be first reaction for you guys on this when it comes to when I actually start driving and drifting it. We just got it all set up. Got our wheel cam turned on. We are going to be running our actual shifter and clutch, even though it is a paddle shift car. So we're just going to go and uh, see how this thing goes. Sounds good. Dash looks good. So we're just going to go full send. It is already rear wheel drive, obviously. And I'm not sure if my shift light points are correct. Close, but that's more set for my drift cars. does get a lot of backfire and it does feel pretty good in the grip aspect switch up the first person here just so we can have actual full shift light telemetry oh I forgot that turn was a little bit sharper than I thought but it is a quick car, to say the least, and it's, uh, it's handling pretty well. I feel like we may have to make some serious modifications to this car to get it to actually drift. But it's handling Dubai Circuit kind of like a champ. There we go. trying to take a different aggressive style race line. We push wide there. Go back to third person. Oh, ow. So first impressions of the new car. It is a sweet car. We're getting a little sideways. Oh, it drifts. This is gonna be interesting when we actually purposely start drifting it. Settle it down, settle it down. When we actually start purposely drifting it, we're going to add some tow and stuff like that to try and get some more steering angle out of the car. But the fact that this car handles so well with no assist on, I do only have, I believe, ABS on. Actually, no, I think I've turned completely off. So no track control or anything like that, and this car is ripping here in Dubai. Probably didn't have to break as much there. I felt feel like if I was on a paddle shift it could be a little bit faster in some of these turns a little more aggressive try and grip it up there we go this thing is quick I think it may do some online actual racing and stuff with this car this car is fun to drive and we got it all for free so now that we've actually driven the car how it's supposed to drive, we're going to pull that handbrake. Oh, oh. It's probably not what they expected when they said, here, here's the keys to a GT4 Porsche. Yep, no, we're going to have to do some finite tuning on this car to get it fully drift ready. So we're going to go switch it up here and uh, do some quick tuning on this car. 
See if we can't see if my controller is actually working. It is! So let's go take a look at what we can do for upgrade wise. Looks like we just have a clutch and an axle. We have brakes. Axle, drive shaft. We have some more power we can throw into this thing. I'm not sure if we want to. We're already at 543. I think we're going to leave the power where it is, but we're going to have to fine tune this suspension a little bit. We're going to have to uh, probably. Drop that a little bit. Not sure how it's going to work. Leave gearing. We're going to throw some more camber in it. We're going to drop that. Throw some positive. Kick up the front caster angle. Probably stiffen it up a little bit there. We'll leave all that there. Leave all that. Trying to see what we can come up with. Just throwing some random numbers around right now. Leave the downforce, we'll leave braking. And of course, we're gonna lock, almost lock this diff and see how this works. I don't know if it's actually gonna drift, it's on race tires, so we may have to uh, mess around with our tire pressures. So we're just gonna go full send on it. See if we can't get this thing to drift. This donut's pretty good. I don't know if this is like the next comp car by any means, but we're gonna have a little fun with it today. We did get it new from Forza. So, you know, we are gonna play with it today and have a little fun. So this thing grips up really quick. So I feel like this car is only gonna work really on higher speed drifts, but we're definitely gonna give it a run for its money. The new GT4 Club Sport, available free for all of us on Forza 7. Yeah, it grips really quick. I feel like we may need to kick up that tire pressure. There we go. Oh. A lot of clutch kicks. Ah, too much angle. We didn't hit the wall. Oh. So there is no angle kit by any means on this car, so it's it's kind of a kind of a struggle to keep it from spinning out. But we're managing to managing to get this thing sideways nonetheless. When you hit the brakes it locks up. It comes to a halt, grinding halt. From drifting real quick I said probably not the next pro drift car by any means but a fun little challenge here we go nailing off steering lock there oh no Ugh. it's a challenge I give you guys this challenge to try and make this thing drift it drifts but I'm trying to throw it probably way more aggressively than I need to be Bet you if I just like kind of took the turns gently like this, it'd be easier and not as aggressive. But I'm trying to throw those big angles. We didn't need taillights in this Porsche. My, this is rough. I thought this would be hard, but I didn't know it would be this hard to get it to do what I wanted to do. Oh, understeer. Oh, Whew. so if you guys give this a shot, let me know if you guys came up with a tune. I will gladly give your tune a shot for this Porsche in this race car drifting expo that I'm trying to do.
I'm just banging off steering lock right there. I don't know if you guys could heard that. I'm just hitting that, hitting that full lock. I think we're getting a little more comfortable now. So we're gonna give it one more lap send here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. A quick little uh, look at the new car and uh, trying to do what it's not meant to do. Yep, too much grip. Here we go. Oh my. There we go. Oh. Who said Porsches can't drift? Oh my. <laughs> Woo. That was uh, almost, almost bad, but pretty cool at the same time. So, give us guys, give us a chance yourself, guys. See what you guys can do with it. Let me know what you think of the free car. You guys like it? Do you guys hate it? You guys wish we got something else? I do like the GT4 Porsche. It's a pretty cool, sweet car to have. Gonna probably be doing some online actual race sessions with it because I like how it drove when I was trying to grip it. Now I'm gonna have to put it back or finite the tune. This is not gonna work as well as I would hoped. Finite the tune for racing. So as always, I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track. What? I get it at the end? <laughs> Alright, I'll take it.